G'day everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to connect your OBDX Pro dongle through to an iOS device to look at some live data. So I've downloaded the application called Car Scanner, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that one. Next we need to tell Car Scanner how to connect to the actual dongle, so we go and click on the settings cog at the top right. We then want to go to the adapter OBD2 ELM327. Make sure we've got the Bluetooth LE connected, so that's Bluetooth Low Energy. We can use Wi-Fi, but for this demonstration, we're gonna use the Bluetooth LE. Then we then wanna select the actual device. Yours might be blank here. Just click device. Up the top here, we can see it says OBDX Pro BT. That's the one we wanna use. There's lots of other things down there because many devices that we only use, we're using this BLE, including phones and other devices. But we're just gonna click our dongle there, so the BT. Yours may say GT or something else, depending on what series you've purchased. After that, we're now done. We can go back, back, and we can finally, we can click on the connect button. There we go, we are now connected. It's now detected the cable and also the end computer. So now I can go up and maybe click on all sensors. It's gonna show you know, some bits and pieces about the car. A lot of this is gonna be blank simply because I am on a bench setup, so it's not seeing live data from the actual car, but we can see it is actually reading. We've got some voltage there, showing negative 39 because the sensor is not actually t uh, connected up to the ECU and stuff like that, but it is reading some live data from the actual engine computer that's on the bench. Uh, but that's it for today. That's just showing how to connect, connect up uh, to an iOS device uh, using uh, an OBDX dongle. Any questions, please feel free to post below. Otherwise, We'll see you soon.